In this video, we will cover what are organizational charts, how to make these organizational charts, importance of organizational charts, and the most important, the current advancement in the organizational chart. Hi friends, this is Ishu Singh. Welcome to my video. If you're watching this channel for the first time, here I provide you useful information to start, run, or grow your business. So if you fit into any of the category, please consider subscribing to this channel. Okay, Google, what is an organizational chart? Thank you. We will listen to Google's answer a little bit later. If you're a sole founder of the company and you don't have a big team or even a smaller team right now and you're doing all the responsibilities in your business, don't worry. This knowledge will help you out in the future as well. Whenever you will think of scaling your business to the next level, this knowledge is going to help you out definitely. Organizational charts is one of the most important thing that you need in order to structure your business for scalability. Organizational chart doesn't only help the founder or CEO or president or I would say top management of the company in order to find out who is working where, but it actually helps the employees as well in order to find out their teammates. So if they need any help in any particular area, they can reach the right person. But there are many other positives for having updated organizational charts. It's kind of a business card but I would say elaborated business card for someone who doesn't know your company. So it's all the business card in one view. So if you're presenting your company to me for the first time or if you're presenting your company to someone else, you don't have to give the whole elaboration of who's working where. Organizational chart can help you in doing that for you. That's the main purpose of having the organizational chart. According to Wikipedia, an organizational chart, also called organogram or organogram, is a diagram that shows the structure of an organization and the relationships and relative ranks of its parts and positions, jobs. There is no stage in the business which is easy to manage because making money itself is hard. Therefore, managing the organizational charts depending on the stage of the business is also a little bit tricky and time consuming if you're not using the right tools. Before we go into the positives and the tools that we can use to make the organizational chart, let me ask you a question. Did you ever use any kind of organizational chart in your business? Or let me put it that way. Are you using any organizational chart right now in your business? Let me know in the comment box below how hard it was for you to manage the organizational chart, what kind of positives that you saw after implementing the organizational charts in your business. Let's look at the use or the positives of the organizational charts from different perspectives. If I'm a project manager and you hired me in your company and I'm I'm a new joinee, I'm coming on the first day, I don't know anyone in the organizational, and you're running a small business, maybe 20, 30 people, you're running small to medium sized business, you are busy, other team members are busy, no one is there to introduce me to all the team members, what I'm supposed to do on the first day. Right now, in this situation, every other business is trying to go online. If the whole business is going to be online, it's gonna be even harder for me to do the transition in your business, because I don't know anyone in the business, I don't know who to contact, I don't know when to contact, I don't know their position, I don't know their responsibilities and other key things that can help me in doing the transition. So now let me give you the perspective of CEO, founder, the top management of the company. If you have the complete picture of your business or your organization, it's going to be way easier for you to make the decisions in order to scale down your business or even to scale up your business. Then you can pick and choose the area where you want to focus, you want to measure the time, how much time time that this team spent, how much time the other team spent in doing the meetings, what was the work done, or what was the productivity of the whole team. Now let's talk about the tools available in order to build your organizational chart. You can build organizational chart using Excel, that is the old traditional way. There are many tools available in the market like Chart Hop, Pinkboard, and Lucid Chart. You can use any of these tools to build the organizational chart for your business. These tools are available with a lot of functionalities and integration, that means you will never have have an outdated version of your organizational chart. The advancement in the organizational chart that I told you in the beginning that I will tell you in this video is the org. The org is the tool which is helping the companies to use the organizational chart for doing the marketing as well. If you will put the name of the company in the theorg.com website, you will see the whole organizational structure of the company. And this can help anyone looking to get the services or product of your company. Even if you want to hire someone new, that person can have a quick glance of the structure of the company, how your organizational structure is set up, and then they can make the decision 
decision to join your company or not. Right now in the theorg.com website, they are having the structure, the organizational structure only for the bigger companies like Amazon. You name the companies, the bigger companies in this website and you will see the organizational chart. But just thinking from that point of view, right now I can go and look at your company if your company is not having the organizational chart in this website, I might think that, okay, I need to approach you in order to understand the organizational structure, but I'm a key decision maker and I want to buy something from you or I want to make any decision for bringing more business to you, I need to have your structure right now. I need to discuss with my team members or someone else need to discuss with the team members to make a decision for your business. If you will have the organizational chart in this website and anyone can see that who is on the top position or who is in the sales team, who is the sales lead, they can contact that person directly instead of going through the letter. But if your business is set up in such a way that anyone reaching your company has to go through the letters, then that's a different scenario. But if you want to use the organizational chart as a new marketing medium, the org.com is the website for you. This is it for this video. I tried my level best to deliver you the value in this video. If you learned something from this video, please leave your comment in the comment box below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Take care.